not a very uh, nice day today outside as you can see it's overcast and grey so I'm taking my uh, Canon EOS 5 one of my modern cameras uh, I'm going to try and get uh, a little bit higher uh, driving and try and get into some mist and take some pictures see if I can get some uh, atmospheric shots in, in the mist so I'll set off in the van and uh, see see how it goes So I've reached my uh, destination now, and this is the Cowan Car for Ox on Ilkley Moor. The light's a bit uh, dull and flat, but I've just uh, uh, rolled uh, around about 10 exposures off my uh, bolt loader, put it in the OS5 and uh, just see what I can come up with. That's the calf, and that's the cow. <laughs> right, get the camera out and start doing a bit of walking. The OS5 had this given by uh, a neighbour. It's um, a great little camera, auto focus, auto everything. So we'll just see how we go, go on with it today. It's a bit of a, a dark, desolate place, is it? Uh, the cow and calf rocks on a day like today. All the uh, stones take on a, uh, or big rocks take on a, a uh, mysterious look to them, quite ominous really. That was like a mountain up there. And I'll keep walking around, see if I can find a, a photograph anywhere, but it's a bit difficult in these conditions. Tree might, uh, this tree here might make a photograph, I don't know. Get to the back of it and see what it looks like. Taking an actual uh, uh, photograph of the whole of this tree, I don't think it's going to work, so I'm trying to uh, look for some detail. And I think that bark looks pretty nice in the, the shape of the tree, so I'm going to take a photograph of that and see how that turns out.
that's the old uh, quarry behind me. Uh, it's known around here as hanging stones. One of the reasons why I have come out um, is to test uh, FB4 in diafine and I'm rating it at 250 ISO. Now I've been successful uh, when I've used roll film and sheet uh, film uh, with diafine but I've had uh, mixed results with 35mm. So I'm going to try a different way of developing using diafine um, because what I seem to get is um, I, I can call I probably call it a, a bromide drag and that's where we get like uh, streaks where the pocket holes are so this time I'm rather than doing as a lot of people suggest uh, minimal agitation using diaphine I'm going to develop it as normal with my normal uh, agitation you know like uh, 30 seconds for the first uh, minute and then two inversions uh, every minute uh, for both A and B solutions and just see if that goes so it's an experiment well worth trying because um, I'm going on holiday to the North Yorkshire Moors um, um, in, in a few weeks and um, I really want to take some of my old 35 millimeter cameras just to just to try them out and get them uh, get, you know get them uh, loosened up a little bit because if you just leave these old classic cameras they tend to uh, seize up a little bit so I want to be confident that I can use um, uh, 35 millimeter in diaphine because I think it's a great developer and on, on a day like today where the light is very low um, the extra speed increase uh, uh, from 1 to 5 I normally rate it around about 80, 100 ISO FP4 uh, I get this in, in speed increase uh, to 250 ISO which um, uh, it, does, um, it does help in these conditions so uh, keeps the old shutter speed up so I've got a couple of shots left I'm just going to go to the back of where I live, they call it the Chevin, and see if there's a, a bit more mist there. It seems to be clearing a little bit here, so I'll go up there now. Come on, lad, you've nearly done it. Keep them legs turning. <laughs> oh dear. I've done this a few times over years when I was younger, and it's a hard climb. Done it anyway. Well, uh, I've come back home. I'm, I'm suffering from CBA. Um, can't be asked, really. And uh, the light today is uh, not very good at all. But there's one thing I can develop this film, uh, the shots that I've taken on Ilkley Moor, and just see how uh, how it turns out with my uh, uh, different agitation method. And hopefully, for the previous 35 millimeter ones I took using diaphane, I got this. Uh, bromide drag coming from this sprocket holes um, so I'm going to try as I say a normal agitation method and uh, just see if that uh, actually stops this drag so it uh, won't be a wasted uh, journey uh, at least I'll learn something from it
Thank you. 